Leave us hanging. Come on, I want to know what happened. I think we got him. So who is the guy that brought the chest to Sardo? Yeah, and where was the cemetery? And how come only Rush could open the chest? Let's have a little recap here to get you back up to speed. Okay. Rush and Max were brothers who uh, didn't really get along. All Rush wanted to do was grow up, but uh, Max was always keeping him down. Rush and Max had different ideas of what fun was. Rather than pound Max in the dirt, Rush bought him a magic set to keep him busy and far away. But there was an odd treasure chest at the Magic Mansion that no one could open except Rush. Inside was a strange spyglass that showed Rush images of a spooky cemetery and played tricks on Max. The spyglass was haunted and it lured some horrifying ghosts. One of the ghosts kidnapped poor Max, and Rush was the only one who knew. Rush didn't know what to do. Max was gone, and he couldn't get a hold of his parents. That's where we left off. Kick it. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. We call this story... <sighs> the Tale of Cutter's Treasure, Part Two. Go away! We're closed until... You! I knew you'd be back! I... Look, buddy. I don't know what this thing is, but it's making ghosts show up in my house. Ghosts? Uh, yes, well, they're uh, probably just illusions. Uh, yeah, uh, then two illusions just snatched my little brother. Either you tell me what's going on, or I'm coming back with the cops. I'm not so sure the police would believe you any more than I do. They don't. I've already tried. Look, Mr. Sar... I mean, Sardo. All I want is my brother back. I'm afraid I don't know much more than you. But there's someone who does. The wild boar coiffure? A barbershop? It's run by the same man who gave me the chest. I suggest you go and talk to him. Vink's the name. Dr. Vink. Dr. Vink? Precisely. I've been waiting for you. You have? What do you think of my latest endeavor? Of course, patrons are less interested in coiffure than they are in my unique hair tonics. They have such interesting properties. Shall I massage a few drops into your scalp? Uh, no, thanks. Of course not. We have work to do. Look, my little brother's in trouble and... I know all about your brother. And I can help you find him as long as you understand one thing. What's that? I am not a nutbag. How do you know about... Jonas Cutter. What? Captain. Jonas Cutter, he called himself. A murderous galley slave who led the bloodiest mutiny in maritime history. They say he took the name Cutter because of his love for the blade 
and what it could do to flesh. History says he concealed an immense treasure in a secret vault that to this day has never been found. Why are you telling me this? Because I do believe I've tracked the beggar down. That's a guy. We gotta tell the cops. The police can't help you, lad. Why not? Because Jonas Cutter has been dead for 200 years. I don't believe this. This chest belonged to the one man who tried to defeat Cutter, but instead met with a grisly death. That's from the Magic Mansion. I left it there myself, hoping to find the champion. Who? Before he died, this brave soul vowed that one day a champion would come to avenge the deaths of all of Cutter's victims. These tools were empowered by the souls of those victims. Legend says that whoever opened the chest to retrieve them would be the one to do battle. No. You opened the chest, didn't you? Yeah, but... What's your name? Your full name? Russell Ian Keegan. So what? This belonged to your ancestor. You are the one lad. You have to finish what he began 200 years ago. Forget it. I'm just a kid. Perhaps you're right. I suppose it's easier to hide behind the veil of youth than to face the responsibility for a brother you despise. I don't despise Max. I want him back. Then accept your destiny. we do the spyglass brought you here you'll need these to continue what do i do with them you'll know when the time comes why are you doing all this if all goes well a few pieces of treasure will help to fund some of my unique endeavors and if all doesn't go well it must it's your destiny. I've done this before. It's like my dream. That means... That's what... Ah! Who are you? Sir, you know who I am. Ian Keegan? about any curse. All I want is my brother back. The dagger has the power. Grandson, do not be fooled. What he wants is not what he desires. What does that mean? All our hopes go away. Don't go! You gotta help me!
not leaving so soon, are you? You just came aboard. Uh, I know who you are. Do you now? <laughs> then let's see if you can find me. First choice was a poor one. Not a good start. Oh, careful now. Ah, I got the point! <laughs> Look, I'm no hero. I don't want to hurt you or anything. I sound afraid! Mm, this is getting interesting. <laughs> Let's see what other fires we can start. It's really you, isn't it? Yeah, get me out of here! I didn't think you were gonna come. What are you talking about? You said you hated me. Look, Max, I said a lot of stupid things I didn't mean. I'm sorry. Can I be on your team again? <laughs> Touching, very touching. I am so moved, I could almost die. But then again, I am already dead. Look, I don't want any trouble. But you went through all that trouble tracking me down. You went through all the trouble running my gauntlet and dispatching Mr. Noise. You went through all the trouble breaking into my treasure room! Yes, I think you're looking for trouble, and Skipper, you found it! Look... I didn't want any part of this. You're the one who... I've stood guard here for two centuries, waiting for you to come, waiting for the grand battle. I don't want to fight! Then you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> ah. The fight will be a fair one. I think swords will do just fine. I, I don't have a sword. <laughs> Pity. Then you really are in trouble. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> You're forgetting that. The dagger. Use the dagger. Is 
this the grand battle I've been waiting for? Get up and fight. I can't. I don't know what to do. Then there's nothing left for me to do but to put you out of my misery. I don't think so. Leave him alone. Oh, two boys. Two boys. Two dead little boys. Who wants to go first? You do. How'd you do that? Good show, lad. There's only one thing left to do. Who are you? You must run him through with a dagger and fulfill your destiny. Come on, Skipper. Use the bloody dagger. <laughs> You cannot hurt me! <laughs> I'm already dead! <laughs> Go on, lad. Use it. You won't do it, will ya? You're just a scared little boy. Now you fear the dagger. But your fear should be me. I'll be coming after you, Skipper. But before that, I'll get your little brother. No! <laughs> What's the trouble, lad? What he wants is not what he desires. That's what Ian's ghost said. He was a fool. Finish, finish the deed. No! This isn't right. You're afraid, aren't you? Yeah, I am. And I think you are too. You've been guarding this treasure, but there's no one to guard it from. That's why you took Max. To make sure I would come. You wanted one last battle. Nonsense talk. Use the dagger. This treasure's no good to you anymore, is it? But you have to guard it forever. I believe you're right, lad. Use the dagger, and Cutter's wretched soul may be released from this prison. No, it's not true! What do I do? Justice for Cutter's victims is in your hands. Use it wisely. Use it, Fluster! Use it! Curse you! Curse you! It's came in. Where do you go? Come on. Grandson, I'm proud of you. Did I do the right thing? 
A dagger was meant to punish Cutter for his evil ways, and that's what was done. I did the right thing. Farewell, grandsons. Thank you. gonna believe this. Good show, lads. What happened to you? I thought it best to leave you to your own devices. After all, this is your adventure. Sorry you didn't get the treasure you wanted. No matter. Treasure doesn't last. It's the adventure, the excitement, the game. That's what stays with you a lifetime. Remember that. Though a little treasure never hurt either. I guess you didn't come away empty-handed. No, but I did. We had a deal. I delivered. Now I expect you to. Please, I intend to double your fee. Double? <laughs> oh, well, that's different. Um, maybe we could, uh... Mom and Dad! I don't know who you guys are, but I don't think I'll ever forget you. Listen, what other little adventures do you think we might be able to cook up together? Mom! Dad! <laughs> Whoa, what's this about? You're never going to believe this. No, you're never going to believe this. We had the most amazing weekend. Uh, wait till we tell you. It's the most unbelievable thing you ever heard. <laughs> So. Rush and Max never told anyone their adventure because they were afraid someone might look for Cutter's treasure. And if they found it, they'd also find the ghost of the pirate captain lying in wait for one last battle. The yeah. end. Awesome story. Excellent. That was a really awesome story. <laughs> I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. <laughs>